Okay, so imagine if your Windows computer suddenly finds a stash of energy drink and turns into a productivity beast. Well, buckle up, because today we're making it happen. I'm going to drop 7 game-changing tools that will make your Windows setup go from zero to hero. Alright, so if you were Batman, the first tool would be called Alfred. But unfortunately, you're not Batman, so it's called Flow Launcher instead. Think of it as the Windows version of Spotlight on Mac OS. You summon it with Control plus Space and unlock a whole new level of productivity. Flow Launcher goes far beyond basic file searching. It lets you integrate ChatGPT, play Spotify tracks, and so much more. Thanks to its excellent plugin ecosystem, you will be pushing P to search and launch programs and downloading videos by typing your hotkey and pasting a link. It also allows you to access YouTube, Google search and Google images in seconds. And my favorite trick is typing S to search your settings, combining both the control panel and modern settings app into one place. This is something Microsoft hasn't figured out yet, but Flow Launcher nails it perfectly. For aesthetics, my current favorite Flow Launcher theme is called Slim Dark Blur. Setting it up is easy. There's a GitHub link in the description with various themes. So you just need to grab the XAML file of your preferred team and drop it in the Flow Launcher themes file path. Once that's done, you can enable it in the Flow Launcher settings and enjoy the fresh new look. If you're still using Windows Default Explorer search, stop it. Get some help. And everything search will help you. This powerful tool indexes all your files. The real magic happens when you combine everything search with Flow Launcher, allowing you to locate even the most obscure document from years ago within seconds. Now let's talk screenshots. ShareX takes it to another level. It's free, open source, and way better than Windows built-in snipping tool. My favorite features are the auto region selection, which automatically selects a region of the screen so you have the perfect screenshot. And also honestly, just the overall speed at which you can take and save screenshots. They also offer on-the-spot editing, screen recording, and a bunch of settings you can have fun with. The next tool is Quick Look. It brings the macOS Spacebar Preview feature to Windows, working seamlessly with PDFs, images, videos, and even Photoshop files. This is a massive time saver. You don't have to wait for your PDF reader or Photoshop to open just to verify if you grabbed the right file. You can tap space, get the preview, and move on with your life. If you have a full hard drive, Wistree will help you crack the case. And that massive 4K video from New Year's you forgot about is the prime suspect. What's awesome with this tool, other than the speed at which it analyzes your disks, is how it visually maps out your folders by size, giving you an instant snapshot of what's using your SSD real estate. If you're still hanging on to the infinite child mode of WinWar, it's time to level up. Nanozip is the upgrade you've been waiting for. It's an open source fork of 7-Zip with a cleaner interface and better integration with Windows 11. Nana actually means 7 in Japanese, so it's basically the shinobi name of 7-Zip. And speaking of Windows 11 right-click menu, let's take a second to highlight how brain dead it is. The Windows developers or designers who worked on it inexplicably removed useful features and added a show more option that resurrects the old Windows 98 UI. It's insane that this issue hasn't been addressed after multiple Windows 11 updates over the years. But Nile Soft Shell restores sanity back into your right-click menus. It brings back all the legacy features while maintaining Windows 11 design language. Now, for those who are still watching the video, I have a little bonus for you guys, and it's giving VLC Media Player the glow up it deserves. We all love VLC. It's the go to video players, and maybe second on Dana White's list of the greatest Windows software after John Jones. But its UI hasn't changed much since the Cold War. Luckily, there's a way to give it a modern dark mode look. You'll need to grab the 64-bit version of VLC. Once you're set, download the DLL files I've linked in the description. Navigate to the plugins GUI folder in your VLC directory and drop the DLL files there. You can then enable dark mode in the settings and VLC suddenly looks like it belongs in 2024. And there you have it, seven killer tools to supercharge your Windows PC. Thank you for watching and see you next time.